Sequence can be divided into three number sequence, letter sequence, and symbol sequence. So, today we are discussing about the letter and symbol sequence. With examples, we will discuss that. For letter sequence, the only theory you should understand is you should be able to fastly convert a letter to number if needed. Why I am saying if needed? Because some questions you don't have to convert letter to number by just looking at the question, we can say if the letters are very close together. But some questions, the letters will be very far away. At that time, converting letter to a number, letter to number is one thing you can try. Letter to number means what? A is the first letter, B is the second letter, C is the third letter. Likewise, you can write A equal to 1, B equal to 2, up to Z is equal to 26. So, for example, in a question, if it is coming W, there W, you don't have to count A, B, C, D up to W. That will be taking too much time. So, that is why I will say a shortcut trick or just a, what we can say an acronym that will help you um, understand this better. So the concept of ejoti, listen very carefully, concept of ejoti is very easy. Every fifth letter is coded in this. Every fifth letter means this is fifth letter, tenth letter, fifteenth letter, twentieth letter, twenty-fifth letter. I think many of you may be already using this. If not, try to use this in case you want to convert a letter to a number. That means E is the 5th letter, J is the 10th letter, O is the 15th letter, T is the 20th letter and Y is the 25th letter. For example, if you want to find W, if you know T, U, V, W, from 20 you can count. You don't have to count from 1, 2, 3 up to 23. From 20 you can count 21, 22, 23. So, 23, 23rd letter will be W. That's a simple idea. So, I will show you in case we need this number to letter, sorry, letter to con number com conversion, how to use this. May most of the question you don't need it because the letters are very close. In CSE or net exam, if you are preparing for other exams, they can give you more confusing letter sequences. So, try to remember the code EJOTI. So, first question, June 2016 net exam problem. This is a combination of number and letter sequence. All of you try it. The letter sequence idea itself will give you the answer as soon as possible. So here, the letter part you analyze A, B, C, D, F. So definitely E should come there. And that finishes the question even if number part is there. You don't have to analyze number part if you look at the answer options carefully. Because there is only one answer option with E in it. That is why E4 is the answer. Because other option is not having E in it. E should be there because A, B, C, D, E, F is the order that is kept here. So this is one of the simplest question came in net exam. So that is why E4. Now if you want to analyze number part also that is also easy. Number part is just a geometric sequence. About geometric sequence we have discussed in detail in the last two classes. So, it is 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16, 16 into 2, 32 and 32 into 2, 64. This is a simple idea. Letter part and number part. Number part is like this. Into 2, into 2, into 2, into 2, geometric sequence with a common ratio 2. So, let's go to the next question then. Another letter sequence problem where letters and numbers. So, try to do it with geometrical shape it is asked. This was asked in December 2017 net exam. All of you try this question. So here there are four shapes. The first two shapes, third and fourth shapes we will analyze separately. So the question is to find the missing term. Missing term means missing pattern. Sorry. The third figure is a missing pattern. That means first and second can be combined as a pair. Third and fourth can be combined as a pair. Why I am doing so? Because look at this. Here there are numbers. Here there are letters. Same way here there are letters. So here there should be numbers. So that is a pair we can understand. And look at the answer options also. All the four answer options. A, B, C, D answer options are giving numbers in the corresponding parts. So that numbers, number letter, number letter that is the idea. So we will take a pair and understand. First and second figure pair we will understand what is happening in it. These two pictures we are analyzing separately. These are the first two pictures. There are two things here. There is a rectangle. Inside that there is a triangle. And inside and outside of the triangle there are things. Inside the triangle there is a multiplication symbol 1 and A. 
and in the second picture also multiplication symbol 1 and a is there but multiplication symbol is shifting to this shifting to this corner that means a clockwise rotation is happening like the hands of a clock it is rotating so multiplication symbol is coming here same way one was here that is shifting to this place that is here now a is shifting to this spot that is here that means a clockwise rotation is what is happening inside the triangle now outside the triangle it is more simple like the ijote chord i taught you that concept can be used in case you want it here look at the letter u here in the second picture in the same place you can see 21 here and u and 21 the connection is u is the 21st letter in the alphabet again how to understand it fast the chord i taught you ijoti ijoti t is 20 t is 20 means t u so 21 you can count it fast you don't have to waste your time from a b c d up to u so u is 21 same way g is 7 d is 4 t is 20 c is 3 and e is 5 so we understood that outside the triangle the letters corresponding number is written corresponding number of the particular letter inside the triangle a clockwise rotation outside the triangle letters number equivalent is written so this is happening inside the triangle now apply the same on third and fourth figure third picture is the unknown listen that understand that very carefully third is unknown fourth is known to us this is the third and fourth picture so from the fourth picture we can easily find the answer look at the fourth picture o is here i will use a thicker marker o is here that means in the same spot 15 the letter should be there why 15 because o is the 15th letter ijoti chord again use it e j o t y fifth letter 10th letter 15th letter 20th letter 25th letter so o is 15 similarly e is 5 o is, b is 2 h is 8 and so on you can fill all the letters accordingly that is in outside the triangle now inside the triangle what is happening inside the triangle be careful third picture should have a clockwise rotation to form fourth picture so we can say anti clockwise rotation of fourth picture should give you the third picture very simple idea so z 26 plus symbol you can anti clockwise rotate because third picture should give you fourth picture that is why so this will be how the third picture will look like and that is the answer which option say so that will be the answer now i will tell you a shortcut how you can do this li a little more faster by help taking the help of answer option in this question definitely answer will be option b but how to reach it fast once you understood that the number equivalent is uh, number equivalent is the idea you can say o is the 15 the letter so here it should be 15 whichever option saying not 15 can be eliminated a c and d are not saying 15 in that position that is why they cannot be the answer so the only option satisfying that is option b that itself finishes the question because the options are very simple but i told the detailed version of it because we can't say that every time exam options will be that simple that is why understand the idea but use the shortcut at the time of exam as much time you can save that much better it is so here don't waste your time in writing all the numbers at the time of exam because when you are convinced that number equivalent is happening os number equivalent is 15 only option saying so is option b so if that is clear let's go to the next question so one more letter sequence problem they have asked letter sequence problem like this also in december 2014 net exam this was a question from letter sequence all of you try this in table they have given a letter sequence and we have to find the missing term or missing letter if numbers are letters are confusing you i will say the trick just convert the letter to a corresponding number a is first letter c is third letter e is fifth letter then you will get a proper idea if it is not confusing directly go for number part num sorry letters itself so i will start the explanation here a b c c d e e f g g h i i j k j k 
KL sorry KLM MNO so O should be the answer that simple is the idea are you getting continuing O P Q Q R S S T U U V W W X Y Y Z after Z again starts A because it's a cycle we can say A B C C D E so it is like plus two plus two plus two second letter from the letter is the next letter if you go in this fashion that is the simplest way to do this question otherwise you can convert it into numbers and then analyze that will be time consuming but if you are not getting this idea at the time of exam converting to numbers is necessary i will repeat one more time first letter third letter fifth letter seventh letter ninth letter eleventh letter thirteenth letter fifteenth letter seventeenth twenty first twenty third uh, sorry, twenty nineteenth, uh, twenty first, twenty third, twenty uh, fifth, first letter, third letter, fifth letter. So plus three plus sorry plus two plus two plus two plus two is the addition pattern. So O is the answer. So if that is clear, let's go to another question of the same type. June two thousand fourteen. This was a question asked from letter sequence. All of you try it. Okay, I will explain. This is a little more tougher than previous question. Tougher in the sense, time consuming. But this is also simple. So look at this. Row wise or column wise you can go. But I am trying with row wise. A plus 1 letter. B. B plus 1 is C. C plus 1 is D. Now F plus 1 is not I. Second row is following another pattern. First row is following plus 1 pattern. Second row is following. Let's see. E F. G H I that means F plus three, F plus three, F plus three is I, I plus three is L, L plus three is O, E F G H I, I J K L, L M N O. Third letter from the corresponding letter will be the next letter. That means here it is plus three pattern. Third letter. Here it is even bigger pattern. K P. From K count it K L M N O P five letters same way P five letters added P Q R S T U five letters you will reach reach U and U five letters added V W X Y Z you will get Z that means plus five is the pattern in the third row so if this is plus one if this is plus three if this is plus five then the last row Pattern chances are high that it may be plus seven pattern. Let's check it. P plus seven. P plus seven means from P you have to count till seventh letter. O P Q R S T U V W. Seven letters will exactly reach W. Now from W, this is one thing that many people got confused. W plus seven you should reach D. How? From W W X Y Z. After Z, I told you in previous question also it's a cycle of letters. After Z comes again A. So after Z A B C D. From W again W X Y Z A B C D. That is seventh letter will be D. From D seven letters will be the answer because all those patterns are satisfying. So D plus seven will be the answer. D plus seven means. Fourth letter plus seventh letter will be eleventh letter. Eleventh letter, if you take care, you can again use K will be the eleventh letter. So the answer is option B. Otherwise, count it from D. D E F G H I J K. Seventh letter will be K. So that is how this question is run, done. Column wise also, you may get a similar pattern, but that also will give you the same answer only. You are not going to get a different answer. If you are getting different answer, then the question is wrong. Two logic same different answer means question is wrong. Column wise also you will get the same answer only. So I think this is clear. So the answer is K itself. Again, if this analysis of letter counting is difficult for you, just convert the letters into numbers. Then it will be more clear. For example, the third row only I will show due to lack of time. I will show only the third row K because that is little away. So K J K. So when you know Ijoti code. J is tenth letter, so K is J K eleventh letter. O P sixteenth letter. 
TU 21st letter, Z is 26th letter. Look at this. The difference is plus 5 now. This is how you can understand the difference in case if the letters are confusing you, convert it into numbers. If it is not confusing you, directly analyze by letters itself. Directly analyzing letters is less time consuming. So I will advise to do so. But in case if you think that directly analyzing you may make a mistake, then convert it into numbers. That is what I can advise you. So anyway, the answer is option B, K. Now, letter sequence only this much questions were asked in previous net exams. Symbol sequence problem we are asking. Symbol sequence, many questions were asked. Recently also many questions were asked. So, symbol sequence we will discuss now. Look at this question. Symbol sequence, there is no theory to be taught at all because it is just simple patterns. You just have to analyze patterns like riddles in school days or riddles that you love to do in general, those kinds of questions are in symbol sequence. So, this is a December 2018 net exam problem. All of you make an attempt. Okay. So, I will start explaining. Very simple idea. Here, there are many things, but all the things are very simple to analyze. So, if you want to see the list of things, the changing things here is position and number of crosses, direction of the arrow, position of the dots and number of lines. I will explain. Here, there are four things. One is position and number of crosses. That means in the first figure, four crosses are there. Then it is becoming three crosses and its position is also changing. And direction of the arrow, this arrow we are mentioning about, they are changing their direction. They are what we can say, flipping their positions we can say. And directions, flipping their directions we can say. Positions of dots, positions of dots means here dots are moving also flipping left to right now number of lines which which lines this line one line two line three line like that so these are the changing properties so you just have to understand it and you just have to find the missing term how it is so very simple look at the picture from one line two line three line in the missing picture it should be four lines four lines should be there and position of the arrow right side facing left side facing right side facing so in the missing picture it should be left side facing and then the crosses four crosses three crosses two crosses it should be one cross and the crosses are actually diminishing in a clockwise fashion this is missing then this is missing then this is missing so definitely in the fourth picture this will be the picture in the right top corner finally uh, combining all this sorry dots also one dot in the left then it is going to the right then to the left then to the right so all those satisfying option will be the answer but if you eliminate options you can get the answer more easily all the four options satisfying option is only option c so option c is the answer but that you can get actually even before understanding all these things how because look at the lines itself lines itself sorry lines itself eliminates this option this option because four lines should be there now the changing things this arrow is wrong in first option because this is right side facing option a it should be left side facing that is wrong that is why option a is wrong that itself says that option c is the answer even if you don't analyze all the changing properties as the options are simple you can reach at option c by checking only two properties but all the time options may not be easy that is why i am explaining everything needed for this analysis so let's go to the next question these are very silly questions just try it you can finish it in less than 30 seconds each of these problems but your focus should be even saving more time. Can you do it? If you are able to already do it in 30 seconds, try to make it 20 seconds. By practice that will come. I am trying to elaborate even the very trivial things because people will be of different background or people will be of different analysis skills. I want to make sure all the people understand. That's why those people who are understanding it faster, wait for others to understand. Don't think that I am elaborating too much. That is because I want all the people to understand it clearly. Okay. So, I will explain. Very simple question again. Changing properties only. Think about it. Arrow 
facing this direction then facing this direction then facing this direction so in the missing picture it should be like this this is also okay these two options are wrong because their position of arrow is wrong now what else is there the square and circle square is outside circle is inside circle is outside square is inside in the next picture square outside circle inside so in the missing answer or missing uh, picture it should be circle outside square inside because circle and square are swapping their position look at this this is the detailed explanation dots are moving in clockwise direction arrows are moving in clockwise direction circles are swapping their position inside and outside inside and outside means first circle was inside only look at the circle then it will be more clear circle inside then outside then inside then outside so the square should be inside the circle that is satisfying only in option c that is why option c is the correct answer arrow position and circle position both are satisfied only in option c option d arrow position is okay but circle is inside square is outside that is not acceptable a minute mistake in analysis can give you a wrong answer if you miss misanalyzed this as circle and square then circle and square if you uh, considered wrong you may get a wrong answer that's why be careful in these questions questions are very simple it is like an eye test you have to check the question very thoroughly observe it very carefully that's all so let's go to the next question all these are previous net exam problem very simple problems actually next question try it i will start the explanation because it is that simple a question first picture second picture is a pair third and fourth is a pair first picture second picture the relation is this is a mirror image first picture's mirror image will be second picture same way third picture's mirror image should be fourth picture third picture's mirror image means which option says so option c says so because mirror image means there will be a flipping from left to right flipping is happening only in this option a c and b but in the bottom part also that flipping should happen in the option b bottom part the flipping is not happening so the only option satisfying so is option c look at it carefully if you still have doubt first picture mirror image third picture mirror image should be fourth picture so there is a line like this there should be a line like this here there should be a line like this means in the mirror image it should be in this direction here here so very obvious so the answer will be option c next question next question is little more complicated than the previous one but still very simple question itself first and second picture is a pair third and fourth is a pair just like the previous few questions how it is pair listen very carefully here there are two operations that's the only thing so first and second picture we will analyze carefully first and second picture these are the first picture and second picture how first picture is making second picture look at it very carefully there are two operations one is a rotation a 90 degree rotation we can say a 90 degree rotation this picture that is a first picture you are rotating 90 degree if you rotate 90 degree means this part will come to this side and this triangle part will go to the other side thing like a piece of bread on one corner you are putting a, a little bit jam or something you are rotating that means it will turn accordingly now what is happening the second operation is the arrow containing corner that corner you are folding to the other side like think about the bread itself you are cutting the bread diagonally and folding it to the opposite diagonal we can say diagonally opposite we can we are folding it that means fold the half of the inner square to the other half that means look at this picture all of you you will understand this is the idea this is the idea so that is giving you second picture this gives you this second picture that is how first picture is giving you second picture summarizing again there is a clockwise rotation then there is a diagonal flipping 
first you can uh, diagonal flip sorry first you can uh, diagonal flip and then clockwise rotate also that also won't change the answer yeah don't get confused with the outside square that is just like an outline that have nothing to do with the question that outside square we are only dealing with what is inside that square in the picture also in the answers also that outside square have nothing to do with the question these squares are just outlines for the question what is inside is what is changing so second and first and second picture we understood the idea 90 degree rotation and then a flipping that is how first picture is made a second picture so the same idea should be used on third picture to make the fourth picture 90 degree rotation and then a flipping of the arrow part that means look at the third picture this is the third picture how you can rotate it if you rotate it clockwise 90 degree the picture will be like this this to this side this to this side so this will be the picture now that arrow part you have to fold it you have to fold it to the opposite corner diagonally fold it to the opposite corner diagonally means this will be the picture look at that again this is what is happening and that will be the answer there may be different ways to think it but this is the correct answer i just thought rotating clockwise and then folding folding first and then rotating also fine other ideas also are correct if you are getting the same logic saying so option b will be the correct answer by that idea if so let's go to the next question in the symbol sequence this was uh, this question we discussed now was the only question which till now was a little challenging all other questions are very simple even the next question also not difficult at all if you carefully analyze it december 2017 net exam problem all of you try this this is the question and these are the options okay here also a pair wise pattern first and second picture is a pair third and fourth picture is another pair so this is the first and second picture we are analyzing what is the pattern there are three changing things a semi circle almost a semi circle there its direction is changing with the arrow there is a semi circle it is facing downward here it is facing upward here now there is one dot here there is two dots but the dots position is also changing from one side to the opposite side of the rectangle a diagonal rectangle is there from one side it is moving to the other side and what is happening to the number of dots one dot is becoming two dots or we can say that is i think it sorry we can just make an estimate that it is doubling we have to check it with the other value also or other uh, picture also so one is becoming two that means number of dots is doubled position of dots is moving to the opposite side the third changing property is little confusing one there is a circle inside that there are three triangles in the next picture circles are going inside the triangle as there are three triangles you can think like the big circle is becoming three small circles and getting inside the triangle one of the previous questions we used this idea what is inside is going outside what is outside is going inside the same idea here triangle inside in the second picture triangle outside circle inside the circle which was outside is coming inside all the three triangles so we understood all the properties then apply the same on the third and fourth picture also so this is what i explained third and fourth picture this is the third picture from that you have to make the fourth picture semi circle downward so definitely it should be semi circle upward in the missing picture two dots it should become four dots because two doubled four and it should be in the opposite corner so four dots on the opposite corner there is a triangle and there are three squares inside so by the idea we learn from the first two pictures it should be square outside and triangle inside that means inside all the three squares you should have one triangle each inside that squares so it should be like this so which option is uh, satisfying that that will be the answer in this question option c is satisfying or option 3 is satisfying this you can eliminate let me tell you that now how you can eliminate it fast because the options are very simple here the number of dots itself or the dots itself finishes the question one become two so we understood it doubled so two should become four four dots are not there in this four dots are not there in this figure also 
third second picture four dots are there but that is in this side itself it is not moving to the opposite side that is why second is wrong why because first picture and second picture we understood that the dot should move to the opposite corner so that is not satisfied in second picture that is why third picture or option c is the right answer you, even if you don't analyze the other properties you can finish this question just because answer options are very simple elimination method or rejecting answer option idea always keep it in mind to save more and more time if so next question december 2016 net exam problem all of you try it this is the given sequence and these are the four options okay we'll explain very simple question again first and second picture look at it circle inside circle inside a circle triangle outside that circle in the second picture triangle inside that circle circle outside that means again swapping of position is what is happening swapping of position look at this these two pictures are swapping their position in first and second picture so definitely in third and fourth picture triangle and square should swap their position triangle and square should swap swap their position means option c is the answer because here that swapping is happening option d and a is wrong because that doesn't have even the big triangle circle circle so triangle triangle should be there that is why a and d are eliminated b and c are remaining b is not the answer because in b that swapping of triangle and square is not there there is an extra circle coming that is why that is also wrong with this picture if anyone didn't understand look at this carefully first and second picture this is circle inside circle outside triangle outside triangle inside swapping of position same way third and fourth picture triangle inside square outside so it should be square inside triangle outside so which are options say so will be the answer so option c is the answer if so try the next question june 2016 net exam problem all of you try it so i'll explain very simple question again mirror image concept that we discussed in previous questions a's mirror image is b c's mirror image is d so c's mirror image is which option among the following given options that is what we have to try mirror image will be option b that is why option b is the answer because a and c cannot be the answer because sorry a and d cannot be the answer because the direction itself is wrong c cannot be the answer because there is a square in the top so circle cannot be on the top because when you are placing a vertical mirror like this horizontally only flipping will happen vertically flipping won't happen if you have any confusion this is the idea so there is a mirror image first and second figure circle circle square square only the directions will flip then third and fourth picture also same idea square square circle circle the direction only will flip that is why the answer which is saying so will be the correct answer that is option b is the answer because that option only have square in this side and the direction also is correct if that is clear let's go to the next question this is the next question june 2013 net exam problem all of you try it unlike all other previous symbol sequence problem this question have a small difference all of you can understand that difference from the picture itself i think all the previous symbol sequence problem i will give you the hint all the previous symbol sequence problem was pair wise patterns that means first figure gives you second third gives you fourth second and third figure does not had any connection at all but here it is not like that here it is a continuous pattern first figure gives you second second gives you third third gives you fourth so fourth should give you fifth image that is the idea how we understood it is continuous because look at this the shaded quadrant itself will give you idea about it or dots if you check it also you will get that idea so all of you complete the question after that i will start the explanation okay so let me start explaining so the changing properties we will analyze the dots the number and position are changing number we will analyze first here there are no dots at all here one and two that means two quadrants one dot two dot respectively two and four dots two dots four dots here three and six dots so analyzing that pattern one double two two double four three double six so four double eight should be the number of dots in the missing picture whichever option says so can only be accepted that itself eliminates options 
one option i guess now the dots we understood now shaded quadrant shaded quadrant are moving in this fashion a clockwise rotation like the hands of a clock so it should be like this in the missing picture because from here to here to here to here to here so this should be the position of shaded quadrant in the missing picture and number of say position of dots there are two set of dots in every picture but i am taking one of the dots so that the movement of the dots can be understood correctly movement of the dots is also clockwise itself look at this it is clockwise in all the picture or look at this like this then this then this then this as two quadrants are there we can say we can consider it as a semicircle semicircle is moving to this side then this side then this side so in the missing picture this should be the position of dots number of dots as we learned 4a should be number of dots and position of shaded quadrant will be like this so this should be the answer now how you can eliminate the answer soon that is what i am explaining fast again uh what all things can be eliminated first of all d option can be eliminated because dots are in adjacent positions only like semi circle not like diagonal that is why d option is wrong b option is also wrong because that is also diagonal that is not acceptable now number of dots itself finishes the question 2 4 sorry 1 2 2 4 3 6 so in the missing picture it should be 4 8 4 dots 8 dots here it is 4 6 that is not possible that is why a option is wrong only possible answer is c option so if the options are easy you can eliminate it as fast as possible so that is the idea i think this question is also clear so that is about symbol sequence previous year questions symbol sequence normally comes as pair wise patterns number sequence normally con normally comes as um, continuous patterns but symbol sequence normally comes as pair wise patterns 